Good morning, live from Caesars in Las Vegas. I'm Ryan Green. Welcome to Data Cloud Now. I'm joined by Frank Slootman, Chairman and CEO for Snowflake. Frank, such a pleasure to have you on the show. We're back at Snowflake Summit in person in Las Vegas. You recently delivered, <laughs> delivered your keynote, including talking about how Snowflake helps our customers achieve their missions. Can you elaborate a little on that? Yeah, you know, that, uh, that conversation has really changed over the last couple of years. You know, we used to be, you know, going through the, uh, you know, I don't want to say the drudgery, but the, really the, you know, the hardship of moving workloads, you know, to the cloud and, you know, taking them from on-premise systems. And, you know, they were like six, nine, 12 month, you know, processes, high risk, costly, complex. Um, you know, and the, we love doing that kind of work because it's really sort of table stakes. Uh, you have to do it, otherwise you don't get to the finer, you know, parts of your data strategy. Um, but you know, as we uh, get farther, uh, you know, into the the evolution of really running full-on data-driven organizations, you know, people are sort of wisening up to the opportunity that they have uh, because so many problems are being, as well as challenges, are being redefined, you know, as data problems. Right. right. Where cybersecurity is that way, supply chain management is that way. Healthcare is very much becoming, uh, you know, a data problem. I had a, a chief science officer at a pharma say, you know, data science is going to have a bigger, bigger impact on healthcare than life science, right. right? Which is shocking coming from a from a from a pharmaceutical company, uh, as well as a, you know, a chief science officer, somebody who you know that all they know is life science. They're like, no, the real impact is coming from data. So, um, and, and, and you can see why, right? Um, you know, we had conversations, you know, with uh, with hospital executives, and they're like, "Look, data can help us predict, you know, who is going to get what illness, when, and why, with a certain amount of accuracy and reliability, and then, you know, we can recommend therapies and protocols to a prevent that from ever happening, you know, or at least, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically increase quality of life." longevity of life uh, and so on. This is data doing that, right? Because, you know, if you have enough data and you have enough depth of data and breadth of data, you know, through, you know, uh, data science and, and data modeling, the training models on that data, um, it's going to become incredibly powerful. So, you know, you go to a doctor and the guy's going to say, hey, you're going to have cardiovascular disease in, you know, 17 years from now. <laughs> Um, here's what we have to do, you know, and by the way, 85% accuracy, and here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to do. do it now. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be all ears because you're going to like, wow, you know, so, so we're not going to wait till you get sick and then, you know, deal with, with the issues. So this is wonderful because this is pure societal goodness and, and impact. And that's why a lot of uh, people at Snowflake are so excited about what we do. This is not just IT and databases and technology. This is this is really important stuff, you know? You know, I want to reflect a little bit on your keynote yesterday. You, Christian, and Benoit made some of the biggest product announcements in company history. Would you like to share a few with the audience watching? Yeah, uh, you know, I've been here, I'm in year four of, uh, you know, of my tenure, so, you know, I didn't really have the historical perspective. <laughs> but they were like, no, this is, the, this is in four years, this is, these are the biggest announcements we've made, you know, uh, you know obviously, a huge thing is Unistore, the, the, the whole notion of a hybrid table. This is a new data object, you know, effectively, that's both transactional and, and analytical in a single object. It, it changes a game that has existed right. from the beginning of computing, right? So people are incredibly excited about it because the opportunity that it, that it, that it opens up is, is, is enormous. And it, it opens up a whole new generation of software development, a new generation, uh, you know, of apps. Um, you know, it, it, that's one of them, you know, there's, there's just, Numerous, 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 you know, others that uh, that were that were you know incredibly excited about. Uh, Iceberg is another one. Open file formats. Uh, you know, the reason that open file formats you know matter is, if you look at a Snowflake uh, file or a Snowflake table, only Snowflake can manage those. They are under the control of Snowflake. No other tool can touch that. But you know, when we use the uh, the Iceberg format, you know, other tools can now also you know operate on that file in a, in a write in a read write uh, mode. So you, for a lot of IT organizations, it's important because they're like, well, what it, I can only use Snowflake on this file. What if there is a cool tool that comes along and I want to use that and I can't? So that's that's why people are very excited. And there's some very prominent companies like you know Netflix and Amazon and Apple 
um, you know, who are big, big supporters of the Iceberg, uh, you know, file format. And we think it will be the winner in terms of file formats, um, you know, in the marketplace, which is another thing that's really great because then, you know, everybody will adopt it and, you know, uh, we will all work nicely together. You know? you know, you can hear the buzz, the excitement at Snowflake Summit. Frank, I want to get personal with you. You mentioned your tenure four years in. Have you noticed any difference over that period of time? Yeah, I mean, when I joined the company, we just came off a year where we did like 95 million in sales. And uh, three years later, we're doing one point, we, we did, you know, 1.2 billion in sales. And, you know, we're, we still guided markets to whatever it is. Um, you know, uh, so the growth has been enormous. Um, you know, we're, we're whatever, pushing 5,000, you know, employees. We've not backed off our hiring plants one bit um, because our, our customers are continuing to engage with us signing long-term contracts. They are not, uh, you know, postponing their projects. This is very, very high priority. So, you know, we're going to be powering through. We went public, as you well know. <laughs> Involved in the, in the IPO from uh, September of 2020? Yeah, the, big, the biggest IPO of 2020. And, uh, you know, obviously we have an enormous balance sheet. We're cash flow positive, so we, we can power through, you know, any storm, anything the, the world can throw at us, uh, you know, we can handle that. So we, we feel fortunate that we did all these things at that time because you don't know what the future holds. You know? Right. You know, it's an exciting next chapter. You can hear the buzz, the energy. We're in full effect here at Snowflake Summit. There are hundreds of happy customers who are leading sessions this week about how their companies have been transformed with Snowflake. Why was this so important to you, Frank, to be back in person for Snowflake Summit? Yeah, you know, we, uh, it, it, it was surreal for us. You know, we did it. I, I was at the conference in 2019. I was like six weeks into <laughs> I actually did a keynote there, even though I didn't, oh, know, really? I didn't know what I was talking about, but it didn't, help, it didn't hold me back. <laughs> and here I am, you know, three years later, and what's so surreal is that normally you go year after year, you see the, the, the stepwise progression, but this progression was, was, in, was just insane going from 19 mm -hmm. to, to uh, 2022. We're all pinching each other like, you can't be, this can't be real. Um, you know, of course it is, mm -hmm. and it's just the company's grown. Uh, I mean, the conference is five times the size of what it was back then. I mean, the pavilion, you know, of our whole partner ecosystem, I mean, it is just, it's multiple football fields in terms of scale. And we're like, wow. They're, every, they're wow. everywhere. They're amongst yeah. <laughs> So it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's quite a thing. Uh, you know, the, the, the digital slash virtual events that we ran in the, in, the, in the intermediate years, I mean, they were great and they were very well produced. Just, just no substitute for, for I agree. yeah, I mean, there's a whole dimension that's missing. Yeah. And uh, you don't realize it until you get back here and you go like, wow, I, I <laughs> realized how different it was and what we were missing all this time. So I'm very, very happy that we're in person. I know we're not out of the wood with, uh, you know, with the pandemic uh, yet, but the people are here, you know, they, they're like, the hell with it. <laughs> <laughs> they're here, they're excited. Yeah. A lot of you yeah. know, great announcements. Um, you know, Frank, as you look towards the future, what's next for Snowflake? Well, I mean, uh, as you heard, uh, you know, our founder, uh, you know, Benoit Dajville say yesterday, I mean, you know, what we've really done here is really opened up the frontier to building Snowflake applications, right? right? I mean, the, the historical perspective on Snowflake was always, it's a database, you know, it's hosted, uh, you know, in the cloud, and you can do all these wonderful things with it, but the applications are living on the, on the outside of the Snowflake perimeter, not on the inside. That is now completely changing. There is such a thing as a Snowflake application. You know, just, just like you have an iPhone app, you know, there is a Snowflake app, right? And they know how to behave, and they know how to use all the common services. And it's all part of our, our strategy to allow work to come to the data, because if the work can't come to the data, the data right. is going to have to go to the work. Now, now the, everything falls apart. There is no data cloud anymore. There is recycling of the data. There is governance uh, exposure. There's a lot of you know operational overhead. All the things that we're working so hard, you know, are, are then starting to happen again. And um, you know, we've made so much progress. The technology is here. It exists. Um, now it's really a matter of, you know, executing and stay faithful to our, our vision and our standards. What are we, what were we trying to do and continuing to do that? 
Well, Frank, yeah. I really appreciate your time. Great to see you. Awesome. Snowflake Summit in full force for the audience. If you want to catch Frank's keynote and more, make sure to catch the on-demand replay at snowflake.com slash summit slash livestream to explore all of the newly announced product innovations. I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.